Winter time in Chicago always has us dreaming of somewhere warm, but we don't have to go far to find it. There is a peaceful tropical escape nestled on the city's west side. I like to come here because it reminds me of Hawaii. On Chicago's west side. It's a sanctuary for me, it's amazing. On the outskirts of Garfield Park. It's just an oasis in the middle of Chicago. It's one of the largest, most stunning greenhouses in the world. I call it a hidden gem in this city. How do you look at it? I think it's a sparkling jewel, actually. Uh, we don't want it to be hidden. We want people to know about it and to come and visit us, especially during the winter. The Garfield Park Conservatory, which opened in 1908, was the brainchild of landscape architect Jens Jensen. Jens Jensen said, hey, why don't we build a conservatory and it'll look like landscape under glass. So he was the first person to conceive of planting an actual landscape under the glass of the conservatory. So when you look in this room and you see these palm trees, these palm trees roots go down into Chicago soil and the glass houses are built over the top of them. That is amazing. So we is. got some good soil in this city. We do, we do. The palm trees are pretty happy. Laid out like a giant circle, you go from the palm house, where there are more than 72 different kinds of palms, to the show house with gorgeous flowers. Then you circle into the aeroid house. A lot of house plants are aeroids. I call it the land of giant house plants because uh, that's really what it's full of. From there is into the desert house, where there are hundreds of different species of cacti and succulents. <laughs> It's onto the children's garden and into the sugar room. We have sugar from the sun that teaches people all, all about photosynthesis and how all life on earth depends on plants and especially now in the face of climate change because plants create oxygen. Then it's back to the palm house, but just off the circle is the fern room, the crown jewel of the conservatory, built below grade to resemble prehistoric Illinois. It's a fascinating place. It's got waterfalls. It's got these uh, sculpted rock walls. The center of it is a pond because he wanted to create humidity in the room in a natural way. So he put a pond there. And it does create humidity in a very natural way. That's probably the most humid room in the conservatory. We've got it all. A little something for everybody. It's calming. Serene, it's very like warm and inviting. Warm indeed. At a balmy 82 degrees, it's an escape from the harsh winter weather for Davion James. Sometimes I come with my friends, other times I just like to walk around and enjoy just peacefulness. And for friends Susan and Mara, it's a nice place to take kids, it's a nice place because it's so peaceful and tranquil. And it's educational too. Kids get to learn about uh, all different kinds of flowers and plants. Oh my God, it's a sanctuary for me. It's amazing. I've been coming here for years with my kids. Through here, there are a couple little hideaways. And if you want to bring a book and sit down and relax, it's a real great place to just calm yourself down. It just depends on what your need is. And based on your need, there's a different room for whatever that is. That is amazing. It's like a Zen garden. You know, and just even talking about it makes you feel so oh, yeah, relaxed, like doesn't it? It's like, yeah. the sounds of the water in there. Oh, I absolutely. It. It's free, but the conservatory does ask for a suggested donation because they need to pay for all of that yeah. work that goes into them. And because of COVID, they are asking that people make a reservation on its website. Wednesdays, they are open until 8 o'clock. The nice sound of the water behind yes, us. Yes, it's oh, so, so relaxing. relaxing. Yeah.